Hey guys, this is Jamie Sorensen here at Two Peas in a Bucket with another weekly warehouse walk showing you new arrivals in the warehouse. Congrats to Bako Girl 66 You are our winner from last week, so a box of goodies will be sent to you shortly. I'm going to show you the Russell and Hazel stuff first. Um, if you haven't checked out the Two Peas Boutique section, you want to do that. These are specialty items that we may not always have in the store and um, they're really, really cool. Christina's handpicked these from the stationery show. Um, what I'm showing you here is a binder. This is a, their three ring binder and it has um, these cool reinforced metal corners and then lots of different designs on the spine. And then what's cool about this is um, inside you should be able to have inserts for just like a standard three ring binder. Um, on the inside of the covers, there's a dry erase finish actually. So you want to jot ideas down. You can totally do that within your binder. Um, and I want to mention too, it has this cool rubber band. See here, it says stuff ideas through this rubber band. So they each come with one, including the mini binder. This is a set. I'm going to show you some others that you can buy individually. This is um, called Mini Black Book, and it includes um, the binder, A to Z tabs, um, the tracker pages, so you can jot down people's names, addresses, all their contact. They have these little slits in here where you can slide a business card in. Um, let's see what else. It measures um, a little over six by eight. So here's the binder, it has those same reinforced edges. This is that cool rubber band that you can fit around it. That's what the spine looks like. Now I'm gonna show you some of the things that you can stick in the binders. Um, very fun, you like all the smash craze. This is similar and you can kind of make your own. Lots of rubber bands with different designs. Just gonna pull these out. Oops. Um, and there are minis too. So those were the bigger ones. These are the mini ones. So um, if you want to put your own on your own binders, you can, or with theirs. There's all these different patterns. And then um, these are the index dividers. I really like these pages because it's um, made for projects. So if you like to be organized and you have ideas for different projects, you can write in the project contents. You can take sticky notes that they come with, slap those in there, or just draw your own sketches, doodle, whatever you want. So um, there's pockets. These are mini paper pockets. You can slip those in there. Um, filler paper. Weekly planner. Whoops. And they even have the times in here. And then there's all of, there's A to Z tabs, paper trackers, all these little adhesive notes. Some of them are lined, some of them are blank, sometimes a grid. And, um, and then they have more of a list format. I was thinking with, these would be fun if you're tracking what you're doing throughout the day, kind of a day in the life. They have times on here, which would be fun to use. Um, there's more notes and this one kind of has contents, thoughts, ideas, stuff, tasks to do. Very fun. So it comes with 50 notes per pad. These are about four by six, but be sure and check out the rest. I'm going to real quick show you the other binders. They come in lots of colors. They're the mini size. Okay, so here are a few um, of the other mini binders. Some of them have a patent finish, while the other, the more solid, have a linen texture to them. There's also like a metallic um, silver one I saw. The kit that we were looking at was gold. Um, so you wanna be sure and check out all the colors because um, there's a lot of fun things here and a lot of possibilities. And just to show you um, how big the binder rings are, let me see what it says here. Half a ring holds over 75 sheets. And these also have the dry erase interior. They're about seven by nine. Okay, so let's look at some of the fun inserts. These are mini sheet um, page protectors. You get 20, they're three hole drilled. Um, these are adhesive pockets. So you just take them off, stick them, and you can tuck fun little things inside. It includes eight business card pockets, four by two. We'll get all the descriptions up there, um, but you get different sizes within here. So that's fun. 
And then there's just the plain sheets. We've got lined, we have a calendar one, and we also have a grid one. And these are 80 loose leaf sheets. All right, so let's move on. Now I'm gonna show you some of the fun new American craft stuff. All right, so I have some of the embellishments from the new American craft stuff. We've got have Amy Tan, these um, paper leaves and fabric brads. There's gobs of other stuff. And if you have your eye on something, but it's sold out, it's been super hot. We have it on reorder and expect it to come in very soon. Um, this was from the Garden Cafe. There's also these other plastic buttons. We've got jewel brads. These have been really popular. The um, bits, the tags. Teams 12 in there. There's also these journaling cards. I've seen really cool things done with these. And then let's move on to another line. This one goes with the daydreams. And then this is the note, the 12 cards and envelope set with that. I like that little cloud one. Um, and then I'll move down and show you some of the pebble stuff. So these are really great for card making. They come with buttons. Here's some um, paper clips. These come with let's see, 30. There's um, little toothpicks, super cute. They're kind of baby had baby in mind but they're not necessarily baby themed for some of these embellishments this is a cute little brag book um, and for 12 photos it said let's move on down here garden cap I'm sorry fresh goods has been really popular these are the butterflies so these are all the little patterns within there more of the toothpicks and the little chipboard bits you get 20 pieces and I love seeing these clothespins on different things. You want to check out those as well. All right, let's go look at some of the paper. All right, so the Amy Tangerine line has been super hot. This is a line with all the things that she loves. So it includes travel, sewing, photography, um, and that paper includes all of it all in once, all at once. Excuse me, some fun line art. There's also stitched paper. Lots of fun patterns. And then one thing you'll notice on some of the designs is that they took a t-shirt and scanned the t-shirt so that there's that look within it. She loves fashion. I'm gonna scroll down, it's pretty floral print. Another stitched paper. The sun one is really fun. Some clouds on the back. This one is called Hanging Out. I saw this in the What's Hot section. It would be fun to cut out those frames or use it all on one sheet. This is another fabric paper. And here's another one where it has that kind of t-shirt print. But be sure and check out all of the rest, especially as it's flying out of here. Um, Garden Cafe. This one has a, a lacquer finish to it. Lots of florals and just really basic, fun designs. Little dots have a lacquer finish to them. It also kind of has a home theme within it too. So you see kitcheny things and things that remind you of home. Um, there's daydreams. Love that cloud one. We saw it on the little tag. Here is a fun little owl print called Fine Day. This grid. It's called Playful Day, and the orange blocks have a glitter. I like that some of them are polka dotted and some of them are plain. Stripes. The blue stripe is, has glitter treatment to it. And then they also have their holiday line out. Um, and it has kind of just classic red, silver, and green designs. Like this little cardinal one. That was called Hair Noel. The snowman one, some of it is glitter and some of it is solid. A 
their glitter treatment, cute little elves, peppermints. And we'll move on to the fall um, and Halloween collection. They've combined both fall and Halloween. So um, there's something for everyone there. I want to skim to the top. This midnight moon paper is really cool. I like the texture and the print to the clouds. I'm excited to see what people do with that. And we'll skim down here. This one is called Autumn Feast. Yeah, really close. <laughs> Christina doesn't know where I'm going. I'm just kind of hopping all over. So sorry if it's the camera. <laughs> um, this one is a really cool pattern. This one is called Nightcrawler. And this kind of has all the fun word art in one. And it is Halloween night. All right. So thanks so much for joining me this week. Um, don't forget to leave a comment on my blog for your chance to win. And I'll see you next time.